It's a true story from what I've been told, so let's do it.
see themselves reflected in literature, many for the very first time. It's, it's an amazing thing. So why isn't Wireman in every school? Well, trade publishers, poor kids don't make up a big market share. And uh, they're not going to relinquish control to 100 story consultants. I've sold Wireman in almost every state in the nation, Australia, Canada, Britain, but I haven't even made uh, nearly enough back to pay the eight issues I've already made. So I'm trying to gain some momentum. I thought you might want to know where Wireman came from. And in Philadelphia, they knocked down a big building and they found 1,200 wire sculptures. And art historians have determined, given the symbology and strength it took to make these structures, that this artist who's never been found was an African-American male. So that's what informed Wireman. I think you can now see why Wire Man is much more compelling, especially to struggling older readers, than um, typical educational publisher fare. And I think Wire Man can be sustainable if we can find uh, more arteries for the volumes that we already have. It's available in comic form and in graphic novel form. And it would be perfect for tutoring programs, uh, summer stop reading laws programs, after school programs, special ed programs, basically any programs, anywhere, bars, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, Wireman has received a lot of interest in the next, in the last six months, and uh, I think it's time for Wireman to to enter a new arena. And I think I what I need is help with. Um, finding Wireman, finding its audience. Maybe it's a social media campaign with um, Teach for America readers, or making the first issue into a free app. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to Wireman in the future. I think it's been my baby for so long, and it's time for it to take its own wings. But you know what? It doesn't really matter what happens in the future because Wireman is much bigger than me. It's involved hundreds of people to make it, and. Um, I think that uh, the next chapter is upon us. So we have issues here tonight, we have promotional material. I hope you get a chance to uh, chit chat with us. And thank you so much for letting me share my passion with you. Thank you, Sue. Thank you so much. I would like to say there's kind of an interesting thing going on here. We're talking about kids. They have not allowed me to drink, but we like to get them to read and be positive and be everything they can be and everything. And so this is a very interesting night. One of the fun things about Pachachi is it brings different people out, lots of different stuff that um, you might not necessarily expect when you come into a video game bar. And uh, we pack the place, which is just great. So again, one more round for Sue, please. This is the time of night we call the beer break. What a beer break is, is a time where you don't have to...